May I welcome you to Wales for, and thank you for asking me to give the opening address to your annual conference. I'm sorry I can't be there in person, but I'm confident you'll have a great stimulating discussion over the next two days. It's great to see you all. Our woodlands are a key natural resource and the Woodlands Wales strategy remains our vision for Welsh woodlands over the next 50 years. We want Wales to be known for its high quality woodlands that enhance the landscape, provide real social and community benefits support thriving woodland-based industries and also contribute to the better quality environment. The Welsh Government wants to see more woodlands being brought into management and that they are resilient as possible to uh, the damaging effects of climate change. Trees are not just about the production of sustainable timber or about the storage of carbon. A flourishing national forest is vital if we need to meet the needs of future generations. We need to be creative when planning, designing and managing our woodlands in order that they are in the condition to produce these valuable benefits. Over the last few years, Wales has been particularly hit hard by P. remorum disease of larch. Unfortunately, the rapid spread of this pathogen will lead eventually to the uh, removal of vast areas of larch in the Welsh landscape. However, we're trying to make the best of a difficult situation by accelerating our long-term strategy to secure more diverse and resilient woodland. In this process, we've learnt a lot about dealing with tree pests and diseases and how we should respond to this kind of event. Realistically, we know that climate change will bring more and more threats of disease, so I want the forest industry to work with us in order to manage these threats and their impacts. We must do this in partnership as we can't succeed on our own, which is why I welcome the focus on tree health, resilience and sustainable as key themes of your conference. Wales' natural resources are the base on which everything else rests. This Welsh Government is establishing a new policy approach to integrated natural resource management. Our aim is to make the most of opportunities that Wales' natural resources provide while safeguarding and building the resilience of natural resource systems to continue to provide these long-term benefits. The forthcoming Environment Bill will ensure that we have a joined-up legislative approach in place to enable the sustainable management of our natural resources. The bill seeks to ensure that Wales has a prosperous economy alongside a healthy and resilient environment. Tackling climate change is a critical component of our natural resource management approach and the bill will establish a new statutory process to help deliver shared objectives on this agenda. We have a responsibility to look after the future generations and to ensure that they inherit forests that are fit for purpose and fit for the future. The Welsh Government's commitment to action on climate change are set out in our programme for government. We plan to move to a low carbon economy in order to reduce greenhouse gases and to drive effective adaptation to climate change. The Welsh Government is committed to delivering sustainable economic growth and improving opportunities for all who live and work in Wales. It is important that to work together to create resilient and healthy environment this is why we have a legislative framework that will effectively address our environmental challenges, enable sustainable economic growth, and at the same time help to tackle key challenges such as poverty and deprivation. The Wellbeing of Future Generations Wales Bill is one of the first laws of its kind in the world. It puts into law a set of seven wellbeing goals that public bodies must work to achieve. These include a prosperous, resilient, healthier, more equal Wales with cohesive communities. A key challenge for your conference should be to examine how trees and woodlands can play part in the achievement of these goals. I welcome the fact that the Institute of Chartered Foresters has decided to come to Wales and I'm very keen on exchanging knowledge, research and examples of best practice with the rest of the UK. Your conference will provide an excellent platform for sharing your experience and knowledge and I look forward to receiving a report on its proceedings in order to inform our work. I wish you a very successful conference. Jochen Val, thank you again.